Okay, so as I mentioned in the last video, we're going to continue talking about multiplying fractions, decimals, and whole numbers. As we did yesterday, we're going to continue on from the problem we did yesterday. So this time I want to use a ratio table, and I want you to consider this problem. One-fourth of 32. We spent a lot of time in previous units multiplying a fraction by a whole number or finding a part of a whole. So this is essentially the same thing. So I want to look at one-fourth of 32. And let's set up a ratio table here to try to solve this. Go ahead and pause the video once you get to, let's just say, this point. Go ahead and pause now. Okay, hopefully you paused and you went through and tried to solve this problem. If not, now is another opportunity to press pause and go through and solve the problem. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is, I, my goal is gonna be to multiply 1 fourth times 32. So in order to do that, I wanna think, okay, well I for sure know that a fourth is less than one whole, so how can I get one whole to a fourth? Well, I know that if I divide one by two, I have one half. And if I divide 32 by two, I get 16, okay? And I know that half of a half, so if I divide a half by two again, gives me a fourth. Ooh, I'm getting close here. 16 divided by two is going to give me, hopefully you said eight, okay? And there we have it. So what I'm noticing and witnessing and visualizing here is, 1 times 32 is 32, okay? See that correlation here, 1 times 32, right? And 1 half times 32, okay? So I have a half times 32, which is 16, okay? And then the next one will obviously be a fourth times 32, which is 8. Go ahead and write this so you can visualize it, okay? The relationship between these numbers here is, you know, this is half as large as 32, and this is half as large as 8, okay? So this is just another way to look at this problem, all right? So a fourth of 32 is 8. Interestingly enough, our original problem was 25 times 32, which was 800. So this, a fourth of 32, is 100 times less. Okay, interesting relationship. Let's do one more problem. Let's do 25 hundredths times, you guessed it, 32. Again, this is a problem string. Remember, they kind of piggyback off each other. So this time, what I want to do is um, I want you to think about the problem in terms of quarters, okay? Quarters meaning money, okay? Because when I think of 25 hundredths, I'm thinking of quarters. And I want you to think about how you can figure out how many quarters, or if you have 32 quarters, how much money you have. Does that make sense? So let's draw that one out in a ratio table, okay? Bear with me here. So I know that four quarters, okay, is a dollar, right? And I know that if I multiply that by two or double it, I have two dollars or eight quarters, right? Let's keep doing this until I get to 32. So if I double eight, get 16, and double two, I get four dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and double 16 now, which gives me 32, right? Hopefully you're with me right now. If you're not, just take a second and pause and you can always rewind to go back, okay? Multiply 4 by 2, and I get, oops, not 32, but $8. Hmm, interesting. So I essentially have the same answer, right? A fourth of 32 is the same as 25 hundredths times 32, okay? They visually look different, but I want you to be thinking about these numbers as money when possible, if it helps you connect. And if you're feeling really confident with your fractions and your ability to break down those fractions and to simplify them and make them smaller and multiply them, then I definitely want you to be able to do that because you have to, you have, to have all these skills. So these are essentially both the same problem, but just two different ways of solving, right? So we do know that 25 hundredths is the same as 1 fourth, okay? Those are equivalent. 1 fourth of 32 
is 8. So, in effect, 25 hundredths, which is the same as a fourth, right, times 32 equals 8. Okay? Hopefully this makes sense to you. This is kind of one of those big idea explanations that you can use to explain your thinking. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do one more problem and I'm just gonna post it here for you and then you'll solve it on your own. I'll do two of them actually. One fourth of 20 and then 25 hundredths times 20, okay? I'd like you to be able to solve both of these and uh, let's throw one more in there. Let's do 25 times 20. Solve all three of these and then come to see me to check your work.